أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصمه ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون It's finally here. The month of Ramadan is here. The month of all months, the season of all seasons. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen and favored this month upon all other months. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed fasting upon us during this month. The Holy Quran was revealed during this month. This month contains the 10 best nights out of the whole entire year. And it also contains the single best night throughout the year in which a worship of one night is equal to the worship of 8,000 nights. Some of us have been preparing throughout the year for the season. However, for some of us, Ramadan has just crept upon us and we're not fully ready for it. So let's take a look at that, some of the things that can inspire us to do our best during this month of Ramadan. Rasul mentions in a narration that does not have the most reliable of narrators, yet it is supported by other evidences. He said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this nation of his five things that were not, not given to any nation before. So number one, the smell of the breath of the fasting person is better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the smell of misk. Number two, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assigns angels to make istighfar, to seek forgiveness for the people who are fasting until the end of the day of fasting. And number three, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifies Jannah on every single day during this month and says that my servants are about to leave the worldly life and its challenges and its hardship in order to end up in Jannah. The fourth point is that the major leaders amongst the devils are shackled and they are chained up. So this is an opportunity for us to do more good and stay away from bad. The fifth point that is mentioned in the hadith is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the entire nation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the last night of Ramadan. So to conclude, we would just like to wish you a happy and blessed Ramadan from myself, Hisham, and the brothers and sisters at the University of Ottawa Muslim Student Association. And do please join us throughout the month of Ramadan for short beneficial videos entitled Soul Food. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.